coming up this evening into tomorrow uh, morning. And uh, yeah, so a few things have changed, uh, a couple of things that we want to pay attention to. So I did want to just kind of give you a, an update. Um, uh, I mentioned I don't have a ton of time today, so I'm not going to have a ton of new graphics or anything like that. But did want to kind of highlight some of the changes. I do have a new snowfall map for you, as well as some uh, explanation as to why things have changed just a little bit with the storm. Um, a lot of details haven't changed that much. This is not like a dramatically different forecast. But a couple of things. Okay, here's our storm definitely getting going. You can see uh, we're moving first a big chunk of there's a chunk of moisture here that's associated with the with uh some of the uh first piece of energy that started to kick off this storm um one thing that's changed is uh we're getting a lagging piece of energy down here across the southeast which is uh continuing to develop here um and this is not entirely surprising but it's lagging a little further behind and what that's doing is it's kind of stringing the storm out a little bit more going to take it a little longer to get consolidated and so even though the flow is still quite rapidly off to the northeast this is going to give a chance for the lift over our part of this uh, of Vermont and over, I think, central uh, a lot of central New England to have a chance at some some snow that lingers longer than we were originally thinking. Talking yesterday about how the snow will come quite heavy for a time, but I was expecting only about a 12 hour duration. I think now we might see more of like an 18 hour duration in terms of how long it stays snowing for accumulating snow. That will give us a chance to get a little bit more snow. Um, some of the models are quite bullish on this. I think they're a little overdoing it, but I do think um, uh, we still have a chance that I, I bumped up snow accumulations a couple inches, nothing too dramatic and changed around things a little bit. So that's kind of what we're looking at. If we take a look on radar, it's even more evident on radar. Here's the first chunk of moisture that is sort of riding up the coast. Um, and here's the beginning of our snow here. Um, was, originally, our snow will not be super well organized as it starts snowing tonight. Um, so we might kind of have uh, bursts of have moderate and lighter snow before we finally get a band. And that's not the banding isn't really going to happen until this area of low pressure here starts to kind of catch up with the front end and it all sort of consolidates off the New Jersey coast and then heads up into the Gulf of Maine. Um, but uh, as that happens too, we'll have a little bit of warmer air sneak up. So it's a change to sleet or just to plain rain in, uh, in, uh, in a few locations up in the southwestern part of Bennington County, Bennington particularly, um, and also over in Brattleboro in the southeastern parts of Lyndon County, I think up to about Mellow Falls. There's still a chance of a brief bit of mix, but I think not as uh, not significant, not enough to, you're not going to get completely rained out with a storm or anything like that. You definitely will have, it won't be like the last storm where essentially those areas end up with almost nothing. Um, you're definitely going to end up with a decent amount of snow out of this in both of those locations. As we get further north, um, there's still going to be a northern edge to the heavier precipitation. And so um, that's a bit of uh, uh, the complicating factor. How far north does the heaviest precipitation get? Does it get up into Rutland and Windsor counties, uh, especially northern Rutland and Windsor counties, if you're in those areas, if you're north of Rutland, um, if you're north of, say, uh, um, if you're north of, uh, up in the, like the White River Junction area, places like that, um, does the heavier snow band get that far north is definitely not locked in yet. So those are some of the areas with more, uh, with more range, wiggle rain, wiggle room for uh, whether or not you're going to get that heavier snow. Let's take a look at uh, this. This is the same map from yesterday. It hasn't changed at all. Sleet chances, I think, uh, and this is, could be sleet or rain. Um, maybe it's just some bouncy uh, sleet uh, pellets mixed in with a little bit of rain. I think they could get to about Bells Falls or so uh, along uh, the Connecticut River Valley. That would be briefly mixing in. And also up Route 7 corridor to about Manchester or so uh, to our west. Uh, I think those are the two areas that could see some mix. The rest of us are basically all snow. And even in these areas, I think we're predominantly snow. Um, in terms of the forecast, oops, before we get to that, here's my updated forecast map. So I think areas that have definitely bumped up the most, there's definitely a pretty good chance of a decent amount of liquid equivalent precipitation happening over southeastern Wyndham County, which is why even though you're going to be heavy, wet snow, and you might even mix a little bit, I think four to eight inches is a pretty good bet. Um, up to about Bellows Falls. Then we start to, even though you'll be all snow north of that, you'd think, oh, the snow totals would go up. Um, we're actually starting to get into areas where it's a little less certain that you're going to get into that heaviest snow band. And so three to six inches still from like Springfield up through, uh, up through southern Windsor County, up to about Windsor or so, Mammoth County area in that direction. Um, up the spine of the greens, we'll get a little bit of enhancement, which is why four to eight inches, I think all the way to Killington, basically four to eight inches. Um, and up to about Okemo with six to 10 inches up the spine of the greens. Um, this could be, especially um, the southern half of uh, Wind Bennington and Wyndham County across the greens, we're, I'm probably being conservative with this forecast. But um, 
all things going the way they have this winter, that's probably the right forecast. Um, where you get a little bit more sleet or, or sleet or rain mixed in or along Route 7, I think though, even up through almost a rotten about three to six inches, and then in far northeastern uh, areas of uh, Windsor County, uh, two to five inches, and uh, also in Rutland County, two to five inches, uh, Castleton areas like that, um, that are uh, fair heavy, and they're likely to get a little bit less snow um, as you get a little bit further away from the system. Um, again, these numbers up here, definitely a pretty good range of how far north that snow shield gets is definitely not locked in entirely yet, and how long it lingers up here. These Some of these numbers could come up. Um, you could have a real strong gradient to where the snow happens, so uh, maybe some of these areas even struggle to get quite to where they are there. So um, I'm more confident in these areas down here, although these could be enhanced a little bit as well. Let's take a look at that, uh, the uh, uh, details, uh, the highlights as we go forward. Snow still starting between 7 and 9 p.m. this evening. Um, accumulating snow, it was ending between 7 and 9 a.m. tomorrow. Now we're looking at more like 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. I think there's a pretty good chance it lingers. A few of them all have lingering into the afternoon. I think that's a little less likely, although certainly there'll probably be some snow in the air through the afternoon, but um, the accumulating snow should basically end by 10 to 12. That gives us, like I said, instead of a 12-hour period for snow, it gives us more like an 18-hour period. So um, that's going to give us more time for snow to actually fall. Snowfall is moderate to heavy, but short duration will still hold accumulations down, although not as much. The snow, particularly as we head into tomorrow morning, should be kind of fluffy that falls. Um, it'll be kind of a denser packed snow um, as we head through the overnight tonight, particularly in areas that might see a bit, bit of a mix with sleet or, and, or rain. But this will be a lighter and fluffier snow than we've had really all winter. Some sleet may mix in or rain in Southern Valley locations. Travel difficult Monday morning. Um, with school delays and cancellations likely for most of the area, the places that would be less likely to see those would be in northern Windsor, Windsor and Rutland counties. All right, that's what I've got for you this afternoon. Thanks for supporting the channel. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel before, I would encourage you to do so as helps make sure you don't miss any videos. And there'll be more videos because we've got another storm coming in the middle of next week. So this is uh, three storms coming in about a week. And this is the middle one. We're going to have another storm on Wednesday. There's all sorts of details to work out. Could be another decent snowstorm. Could be a mix issues with that one as well. Lots to work out. So um, I will be back tomorrow morning with a forecast. It's not going to be as early as normal. Um, I, uh, I mentioned this before, but I'm taking my son to the Bruins game tonight. Um, I think I'm going to get back tonight. We'll see um, how bad travel gets on our drive back. Um, either way, I will get a forecast out to you by late tomorrow morning. That will be the week, work week forecast, and also focus on the storm to come. I want to give a quick shout out to my patrons who help support what I do here at the West River other guy big thank you to them and also let you know that i guess i'll be back tomorrow morning probably later in the morning with a look at the next storm which is coming up in the middle of the week and also your thanks and